Hi, I'm Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my favorite unisex fragrances. Now, um, I've picked some that are actually marketed towards men, some that are marketed towards women, and then other ones that are marketed as unisex. Um, I honestly think that a person can wear uh, whatever kind of fragrance they want. So there's some masculine fragrances that I think are amazing and more unisex. Um, and then other ones, uh, I think that men uh, can wear all sorts of fra fragrances that are female as well. So uh, yeah, I, I think that the lines are really blurred when it comes to fragrances and I think that that's really fun. So uh, before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and hit that button, join the Weird and Wonderful family, hit the notifications button and come on the weird journey of fragrance with me and the rest of us. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into this. Uh, the first fragrance I'm going to start with is Santal Royal by Guerlain. Now, this is actually Absolute Dorient Santal Royal. I believe that's how you say it. Uh, there is another Santal Royal, uh, but this one is in the obviously black bottle. This is just absolutely amazing. It has jasmine and neroli uh, off the top. I don't necessarily get a whole, well, I guess I guess a little bit of that jasmine. There's a bit of a sweet floral, but it's not overpowering or heady in the slightest. And then uh, you get rose, uh, rose, cinnamon, and peach in the mid. I definitely get uh, the rose. I get the cinnamon big time. And there's a sweetness that I'm assuming must be the peach uh, because this, um, yeah, this has this beautiful sweet quality, but it's not... It's not sickly sweet or like fruity sweet, but the cinnamon paired with that peach, I think just adds this little hint of sweetness that's just so gorgeous. There's oud, leather, sandalwood, amber, and musk in the base. Uh, what I get mainly is the leather. So this is leather. What I'm really getting is leather, rose, cinnamon. Uh, that's mainly what I get. Mm. It's just beautiful. I've said before, this reminds me of Catherine Zeta-Jones and Antonio Banderas uh, from the Zorro movie. Uh, yeah, it's just got that old world vibe, super luxurious, love it. Next fragrance is marketed towards men, but is absolutely unisex, if not leaning feminine, and that is Rich Warm Addictive by Zara. Now, um, the new version I think is better than the old version, uh, although they're fairly similar. Like they kind of come out with new versions every couple of years or whatever. This one is just, it smells like liquor. Uh, liquor, there's some honey, I think. Oh. It's just gorgeous. I wear this one a lot to bed. The longevity is terrible on it, but if you want like a sexy, sweet, but um, not so feminine, like just, you know how unisex to me is a little bit more sultry. I think that's part of it. Somehow it comes across a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more intoxicating, a bit sultry. That's what you get from a unisex fragrance to me anyway. So this one is like intoxicating. It's a little bit sticky somehow. And I love this one for bedtime especially. Simply, like I'd wear this more during the day, uh, but the longevity is just really poor. I think that this would be amazing with another unisex fragrance, which isn't mentioned here today, which is Lost Cherry. Uh, so the, that combination, in fact, I'm trying that. I'm trying that soon. <laughs> Lost Cherry, Rich Warm Addictive, amazing. For that matter, you could put Lost Cherry with almost anything and it would be phenomenal. <laughs> Okay, next one marketed to females that I think is perfectly unisex is Floral Street's Ylang Ylang Espresso. Now, I've said this before, this one is similar to Cafe Tuberosa by Atelier Cologne. So if you've smelt that one, this one is similar. You get the same, uh, a similar coffee note, uh, but this one doesn't have the tuberose. This one instead has Szechuan pepper, rose, and tangerine in the opening. And then in the middle notes, you get some Ylang Ylang. There's tiramisu, patchouli, and jasmine in this one. Definitely pick up on that Ylang Ylang. Maybe a little bit of that jasmine, uh, but more the Ylang Ylang, I would say. And then you get, I definitely get that tiramisu, but more in the dry down. Uh, and then this has coffee, cacao, whipped cream, and guyac wood in it. So this one, it's it's uh, got um, 
uh, coffee throughout but the coffee it's a really really strong coffee no real like I wouldn't say it's sugar and cream coffee this one is like almost like an overdone or burnt coffee like a dark 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 roast coffee uh, a little bit bitter I think probably from that pepper um, and then it starts to develop and it gets a little bit more gourmand, a little bit more uh, creamy with that tiramisu. Uh, there's a little bit of a booziness to this, a little bit of a cigarette vibe as well. Um, I've said this before, this is my fragrance. Uh, you know, this, this should have been called a night of bad decisions. <laughs> like seriously, this one is you know it's just a little bit ra raunchy it's a little bit nasty but i love it and i think that this one would smell phenomenal on a man so if you're a guy watching this please try this one on or if you've got this one try to get your guy to try it and see what you think i think this one is perfectly unisex and uh yeah it's it's definitely one of my favorites <laughs> Why? Like, why do I like something so skanky? Okay, so moving on. Another one, uh, just absolutely beautiful, is Pascal Morabito's Noir, Sultan Noir. Now this uh, is a, a, a vanilla fragrance. There's a bit of a smoke to it. I think that there's leather in this one. Uh, there's apple in this one. To me, it smells like what I imagine apple brandy that's been soaking in a, an aged barrel for a lot of years and then you smell the barrel. Uh, that's what I get out of this. It's, uh, there's a smoky, boozy quality. The apple kind of keeps it a little bit fresh. It's quite soft. I find this one very seductive. Uh, it's a little bit understated. It's not like a bam in your face. Uh, the longevity for me is about five, six hours. Uh, but I just think that this one is so pretty and with that little bit of apple tanginess with uh, the boozy quality I just this is honestly this has become my favorite vanilla fragrance also has a bit of an incense uh, to it so there's incense there's apple cinnamon in this one as well and I'm really really digging the cinnamon uh, there's oud leather so this is just kind of that smoky uh, sweet uh, decadent vanilla uh, definitely that vanillic base comes out as you wear it but you don't really lose that bit of booziness to it so I just think that this one is gorgeous it would smell great on uh, male or female so the next fragrance I have for you is Noir Illusions 1746 by Perfume Parlor. Now this is the inspired version of Killian's Black Phantom, which I think is an absolute amazing, amazing fragrance. So this one has notes of dark chocolate. There's rum in this, coffee, caramel, sugar cane. There's almond in this one, sandalwood and heliotrope. But I don't notice the sandalwood really. I don't notice the heliotrope. I get like that rum coffee chocolate vibe. It smells like a really dark chocolate. So you're not getting quite as much sweetness even though there's caramel in there. And to me, it also smells like there's been guns going off or something. <laughs> like I just think of a pirate ship. Like I, I don't know why, but when I smell this, I don't know if it's the name on top of it all. Uh, but you know, I just... <laughs> I just imagine Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow that he would smell like this but he's a little too greasy in, in, in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean so some sort of suave swashbuckling pirate let's go with that instead uh, would smell like this um, there's this a little bit of a boozy quality but it's mi mixed with that dark chocolate which makes it less sweet than you would imagine even though it's got caramel and it's got the sugar cane in it somehow it's less sweet um, it's very intoxicating absolutely intoxicating now I do have a sample of the black phantom and this one is pretty darn close uh, of course black phantom it has an edge to it like it's the original uh, but if you want a great dupe this this one is really quite decent um, yeah it's 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 quite seductive intoxicating 
Uh, definitely get that chocolate, but it's a, it's darker, so it smells, you know, dark chocolate mixed with coffee has a bit of a bitter quality to it, which I, I find in this one. Uh, yeah, this one is just, it's beautiful when I think about being a pirate. Or meeting a pirate. <laughs> Maybe being a pirate. Let's go with that. <laughs> uh, when I smell this one. Okay, next one is another perfume parlor version, but this one is actually uh, one of their original fragrances, and it's called Rose Tobacco 1591. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It's such a great price. I highly, highly recommend Rose Tobacco. Like I said, it's their original creation. Now it has Rose de Mai and Bulgarian Rose in the top. Uh, the, the mid has Oak Moss and Ambergris. And then the base and the base notes are Peru balsam and beeswax. So this one, it has a vibe that's very similar to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, but you're getting more uh, more of that rose. Um, you're getting a little bit of, like I wouldn't say saltiness, uh, but a little bit of a kind of almost like a a, a sweetness, um, a sweet saltiness softness added to that rose so it makes it less sometimes rose can get a little bit overwhelming so this really cuts that uh, the oak moss just adds a bit of spice to it this is a stunning stunning fragrance uh, and like I said so so affordable so I'm I'll leave I leave all the the perfumes linked down below every time but if you want a beautiful rose uh, this one as far as unisex, I would say like it's a cross between tobacco vanille and something like a Shakehoff Oud. Kind of reminds me of that. Um, the the Peru balsam and beeswax, I don't know if I really noticed that. Uh, but it, all I know is it's a very classy, stunning fragrance. Very decadent uh, with that rose and with the ambergris and oak moss. It's a stunner. And not only that, but I would actually say... Like I've got tobacco vanille here as well. Uh, and I almost think I like uh, tobacco rose better. Um, it's just, it, it's gorgeous. It's definitely, definitely worth checking out. And being I just mentioned tobacco vanille, let's talk about it. Uh, you know this one, you know how much I love it. It's so beautiful, dried fruits, tobacco, vanilla. There's lots of other things, but that's primarily what you get. Uh, the vanilla is is uh, rich, like it smells like a bourbon vanilla. There's a boozy quality to this, probably from the dried fruits. And of course that beautiful tobacco, just so, so gorgeous, highly recommend. Next fragrance is Shakehoff Oud by Swiss Arabian. Uh, now this is uh, supposed to be similar to um, Lancome's Oud Bouquet. This one has saffron, oud, rose, praline, and vanilla. I definitely get all of those. It's quite a sweet, oody rose. Um, it's very opulent to me. Um, definitely a man could wear this one as well. Uh, it's such a beautiful unisex fragrance. Uh, this one is a powerhouse uh, as far as lasting, projection, sillage, all of that. Although I found, like I've had this for like a year and a half, I found that actually the uh, longevity uh, is not quite the same as it used to be. So it it before would last like I'd smell it the next day. I'd say that it lasts about eight hours now uh, before uh, it kind of disappears. But I actually don't mind that because it was so potent before that it was almost unwearable. So I, I just think this one is absolutely beautiful. The last one I want to talk about is again an inspiration scent and this is Moira by Okcha. This is the inspired version of Herod by Parfums to Marley. This one again marketed to men uh, but absolutely unisex. This one has pepper and cinnamon in the opening. Oh. It's just amazing. It's a little sweeter than uh, Santal Royal. Uh, so yeah, it's got that cinnamon, it's got pepper, it's got tobacco, incense, osmanthus. The base has vanilla, ICO super, uh, musk, cedar, cypriol oil, and vetiver. And so this one, I again, I'm, I'm just so in love with 
tobacco. I'm so in love with cinnamon. So anything that's like that, I'm just, I'm, I just eat it up. So love that. I would say I can smell a little bit of that osmanthus. So there is like that sweet, almost peachy vibe. Maybe that's why I find these a little bit similar. Like they don't smell the same, but genre wise, they're kind of in the same kind of category for me. Um, I love that pipe tobacco. So whether I get it from um, tobacco vanille or, or Moira, uh, just absolutely in love with that tobacco note. I think right now, honestly, um, I prefer Moira over tobacco vanille, which I know is hard to believe because I talk about tobacco vanille so much. I still really love this one. This one's maybe just new, uh, but I'm so impressed and I'm so impressed by Oksha's fragrances. They're extra to parfum. They last forever. Uh, yeah, they're really, really beautiful uh, quality fragrances. So um, if you don't want to spring for the, you know, 100 and the close to $200 to $400 range, depending on where you purchase uh, Herod by Parfums de Marly, I think it's worth it because I always really enjoy when I have the actual fragrance. Uh, but Okcha has beautiful offerings, really impressed with them as a company. Uh, I like their bottles. I like the quality. I like the longevity. Just fantastic. So those are it. Those are my unisex fragrances. What is your favorite unisex fragrance? Uh, which is the one that you just can't stop putting down lately? Um, I would say out of all of these, the one that's most worn is actually Rich Warm Addictive because I wear it so often to bed. Uh, yeah, it's so, so, so good. Um, I've also been uh, reaching for my Pascal Morabito's uh, Salt and Noir quite a lot, and I just really, really enjoy sniffing this one. Ah, but they're they're all just amazing. They're, like they're amazing, high quality, luxurious, intoxicating fragrances, and just absolutely stunning. Each one of them. So, what is your favorite um, unisex fragrance? What's the one that you can't put down right now? Uh, one or three or five, however many you want to share. And other than that, that's it. Hope you have an amazing week, and we'll talk to you soon.